For question number 46, what is the present worth of $800 deposited at the end of every six months for five years if the interest rate is 9% compounded quarterly? Letter A, $6,314.64. Uh, B, $12,770.97. C, $9,853.47. And letter D, $19,929.22. So, sa mga gantong uh, type ng problem, so, kailangan muna natin i-determine yung equivalent rate of uh, interest or yung effective rate of interest na kailangan natin gamitin. So, bago tayo makapag-proceed, since ang sabi dito ay every 6 months for 5 years, then siya ay compounded quarterly. So, yung formula natin, P is equal to A, times 1 minus 1 plus i raised to negative n over i, which is the uh, present word for, for ordinary annuity. So, una kunin muna natin yung equivalent na rate of interest. So, equate natin yung uh, sinasabi na every 6 months. So, ibig sabihin pag sinabing every 6 months, semi-annual. Kaya 1 plus i, so hindi na natin siya i-divide sa 2. Kasi ang kinukuha natin ay yung i mismo, hindi yung r. Raised to 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.09 over 4 raised to 4 minus 1. So, cancel lang natin yung negative, uh, yung minus 1. Then, I is equal to 4.55% semi-annually or 0 0.0455. Then, kapag uh, na-determine na natin yung value ng I, pwede na, tayo, uh, pwede na natin makuha yung present word. So, uh, i-substitute lang natin. Yung value ng A natin is $800 multiply sa 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0455 raised to negative 10 since 10 years over 0 0.0455. So, uh, hindi pala to 10 years. Bali siya ay 2 na semi-annual multiply sa 5 years. Kaya siya ay minus 10. Then, yung answer natin is uh, $6,314.64. So, letter A for question number 46. Question number 47. So, what are the present worth and accumulated amount of a 10-year annuity paying 10,000 pesos at the end of each year? So, lagi niyong tatandaan ang uh, parang pinaka-talatandaan ng ordinary annuity ay kapag at the end. So, kapag at the end yung payment niya, ibig sabihin ang gagamitin mong formula ay yung pang-ordinary annuity. So, with interest at 15% compounded annually. So, kunin natin yung present worth and yung accumulated amount niya. So, ito yung ating mga choices. So, ang gagamitin natin formula, so for P, ang formula natin is A multiplies sa 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N over I. So, kapag P negative yung ating N, then F is equal to A or accumulated amount is equal to A multiplies sa 1 plus I Based to positive n minus 1 over i. So, positive naman yung ating n kapag accumulated worth, uh, value or future worth yung hinahanap natin. Then, substitute lang, 10,000 pesos yung payment niya uh, at the end of each year. 1 minus, uh, multiply sa 1 minus 1 plus 0.15 raised to negative 10 over 0.15. Then, yung present worth niya is 50,187.69. Then, for accumulated amount, 10,000 multiplies sa 1 plus 0.15 raised to positive 10 minus 1 over 0.15. Then equivalent to 203,037.18 pesos. So yung answer natin is letter A. For question number 48, what is the present worth of 500 pesos deposited at the end of every 3 months for 6 years if the interest rate is 12% compounded semi-annually? So ito namang problem na to. Every 3 months daw, so ibig sabihin per quarter. Then, yung kanyang interest rate naman ay nakakompounded same annually. So, ano daw yung kanyang present word? Formula natin, ordinary annuity since sinabi na at the end. P is equal to A multiply sa 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N over I. So, kunin ulit natin yung kanyang uh, equivalent na interest rate. So, equate ulit, ito yung per quarter, 1 plus i raised to 4 minus 1. 
is equal to 1 plus 12% na siya ay compounded semi-annually. Then, makukuha nyo na 2.96% per quarter. Then, substitute lang. P is equal to 500 pesos. Multiply sa 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0296 raised to. Ito naman yung uh, 4 quarter multiply sa 6 years. Kaya siya ay 24. Over 0 0.096 equal to 8,500 4.37 or letter A. Question number 49. So what is the future worth of 600 pesos deposited at the end of every month for 4 years if the interest rate is 12% compounded quarterly? So kapag mga ganyang problem, yun nga, kukunin muna natin yung equivalent rate of interest. So kagaya niyan, at the end of every month yung pagde-deposit ng 600, Pero yung kanyang uh, interest rate ay compounded quarterly. So, formula natin for accumulated or future worth. F is equal to A multiply sa 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 over I. Kunin mo muna natin yung equivalent. So, 1 plus I raised to 12 since every month minus 1 over uh, equal to 1 plus 0.12 over 4 raised to 4 minus 1. Then, makukuha natin na yung kanyang uh, equivalent rate of interest is 0.99% per month. Then, substitute lang natin dun sa ating formula. F is equal to 600 pesos multiplied sa 1 plus 0 0.0099 raised to ito ay 12 times 4. 4 years minus 1 over 0 0.0099 is equivalent to 36,641.32 pesos. So, answer natin is uh, letter A. So, kasi dun yung malapit. Then, for question number 50, a factory operator bought a diesel generator set for 10,000 pesos and agreed to pay the dealer uniform sum at the end of each year for 5 years at 8% compounded annually so that the final payment will cancel the debt and principal interest. So, what is the annual payment? So, yung uh, cash price or yung mismo present value kapag bumili ka ng uh, diesel generator is 10,000 pesos. So, magkano daw yung magiging annual payment? So, yung formula natin, yun pa din, ordinary annuity. So, 10,000 pesos equal to A, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.08 since 8%, then siya ay naka 5 years, over 0 0.08, then siya ay compounded annually, then A is equal to 2,504.56 pesos. Or letter A. Question number 51. Annuity is required over 10 years to equate to a future amount of 15,000 pesos with I is equal to 5%. Kunin natin yung kanyang annuity. So yun lang, substitute lang ulit natin yung uh, kanyang uh, mga given. 15,000 is equal to A. Then eto. Then yung mag makukuha nating annual payment or annuity is equal to 1,192.57 or letter A. Question number 52, 1,000 pesos is deposited in a bank at 7% interest. So what is the value of the money after 25 years assuming that nothing was deposited after the initial deposit? So, yan yung ating mga choices. Letter A, 5, uh, 5,247.63 pesos. B, 5,437.34 pesos. C, 5,427.43 pesos. And D, 5,720.51 pesos. So, yung formula natin, yung uh, sa compound pa din, uh, F is equal to P, multiply sa 1 plus I raised to positive N. So, substitute lang natin yung 1,000 pesos. Then, siya ay 7% na interest sa loob ng 5 years. Then, ibig sabihin yung magiging value niya after 5 years is equivalent to 5,427.43 pesos. Or letter C. Question number 53. A man wishes to have 40,000 pesos in a certain fund at the end of 8 years. So, how much should he invest in a fund that will pay 6% compounded continuously. So, magkano daw yung kailangan niyang invest para makakuha siya ng 40,000 pesos. So, kapag uh, continuously, yung formula natin is P is equal to F times E raised to 
uh, ito ay negative Rn. So, kapag hinahanap natin si P, negative yung ating exponent. Then, kapag F naman, positive yung ating exponent. So, substitute, uh, substitute lang natin, 40,000 times E raised to negative 0 0.06 times 8. So, P is equal to 24,751.34. Or, yun. So, letter A for question number 53. Question number 54. Celia invest 100,000 pesos for the college education of his 3-year-old son. Shell. If the fund earned 12% effective interest rate, how much will Shell get each year starting from his 18th to his 22nd birthday? So, kapag mga ganitong problem, kita naman natin na merong deferred period. So, mag uh, i-invest din sa kukunin after so many years. So, kapag mga ganito, uh, lalo na yung mga gantong problem na birthday, so deferred annuity yung ating uh, ginagamit. So, may deferred period tayo. So, formula natin, kapag ganito, hinahanap yung uh, A natin kung magkano yung makukuha niya sa loob ng 18th uh, hanggang set. 22nd birthday. So, P is equal to A multiply sa 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N over I. So, yung ordinary annuity, then meron lang tayong kadugtong na para sa deferred period. 1 plus I raised to negative N. So, substitute lang natin. 100,000 pesos is equal to A. Then, ito, 1 minus 1 plus 0.12. So, yung N natin dito, ito yung kung Ilang beses siya makakuha nung A. So, 18 to 22nd is 5 years. Over 12. Then, ito naman, yung M natin, deferred period, starting siya sa 3 year old hanggang 17. Ang 3 year old hanggang 17 ay 15. So, answer natin is 151,842.04. So, wala siya sa uh, choices. Kasi, uh, 3 to 17 ay 15 periods. Question number 55. A deferred annuity is purchased that will pay $10,000 per quarter for 15 years after being deferred for 5 years. If money is worth 6% compounded quarterly, so what is the present value of this annuity? So yun pa din yung ating formula, deferred annuity. Kasi may sinabi na deferred uh, for 5 years. So, yan. $10,000 multiply sa 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.06 over 4 since compounded quarterly. Raised to negative 4 times 15. Uh, kasi 15 years yung uh, payment na $10,000. Over 0 0.06 over 4 times 1 plus 0.06. 0, 6 over 4 raised to negative 4 times 5. Yung answer natin, uh, $292,386.85 or letter C for question number 55. Question number 56, a man invests uh, 50,000 pesos, so pari-check na lang kasi 10,000 ito din sa ating uh, module na sinend ko. 50,000 pesos now for the college education of his 2-year-old son. If the fund earned 14% effective, then how much will the son get each year starting from his 15th to 20th birthday? So, deferred annuity pa din. So, yung pa din ang gagamitin natin. Substitute lang natin. 50,000 is equal to A. Multiply sa 1 minus 1 plus 0.14 per year or compounded annually. Okay, so negative 6. Negative 6 kasi yung uh, ating uh, pagkuhan ng A is 15 to 20 yet. Over 0.14, multiply sa 1 plus 0.14 raised to negative 15. Yun yung deferred period starting 2 hanggang 14. Ibig sabihin yung A natin is 91,778.71 pesos or letter A. For question number 57, what amount should be invested today at 5% per year to provide the following scholarship? 30,000 every year for the first 4 years, 40,000 every year for the next 4 years, and 50,000 every year thereafter. So, halo-halo na ito ng 
ordinary, may deferred, and meron din tayong uh, perpetuity since meron tayong thereafter or infinitium n natin or number of periods. So, kukunin muna natin yung para sa yung P1. Ito yung sinabi na 30,000 every year for the first 4 years. So, ordinary uh, formula niya, ordinary annuity. Ito yung sagot. Then, sunod naman, 40,000 every year for the next 4 years. So, ibig sabihin, ito yun, ordinary. Then, meron siyang uh, previous 4 years. Kaya, meron tayong deferred. Kaya, ito yung magiging sagot niya. Then, yung sunod, 50,000 thereafter. So, A over I yung formula natin. Multiply sa deferred na 8 years. So, ito yung sagot. Then, yung total niya is 899,908.37 pesos. Or letter A for question number 57. Question number 58. Tom's retirement account in a company currently totals $416,384. What perpetual income can Tom and his heirs receive per year if he retires now and the money is invested in an annuity earning 6% interest? So, yan yung ating mga choices. So, ito ay perpetuity. So, ang hinahanap natin ay perpetual income can Tom and, the, uh, and his heirs receive per year. So, ibig sabihin yung A yung hinahanap natin. Formula lang natin. P is equal to A over I. So, substitute that lang natin. Multiply natin yung P sa interest na 0.06 or 6%. Then, makakakuha sila ng 24,983.04 dollar each year. So, answer natin is letter B. Then, question number 59. Consider a perpetuity paying $100 a year. If the relevant interest rate is 8%, what is the value of the console? So, wala tayong given n. Meaning siya ay perpetuity. I-divide uh, lang natin yung $100 sa rate of interest na 8%. So, $100 over 0.08 is equal to P na $1,250 or letter A. For question number 60, Suppose that 400 pesos is deposited each year into a bank account that pays 8% interest annually. Uh, if uh, 12 payments are made into the account, how much would be accumulated in this fund by the end of the 12th year? So accumulated, ibig sabihin F yung ating kukunin. The first payment occur at time 0. So kapag beginning yung payment, siya ay annuity due. So yung formula natin ang annuity due kapag accumulated or future work, F is equal to A. Uh, multiply sa 1 plus i raised to n plus 1, minus 1, over i, minus 1. Kapag um, uh, future, nagma-minus 1, then kapag present worth, plus 1 naman. Then substitute lang natin, 400, 000, uh, 400 pesos, multiply sa 1 plus 0 0.08, raised to 12 plus 1, minus 1, over 0 0.08, minus 1. So huwag malilito dito sa minus 1 dito. Baka dito mapupunta sa numerator. Then, answer natin, F is equal to 8,198.19 or letter letter B. Then, 